My tent was flying in the air. Everything that could go wrong is going very wrong. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So it's gonna be a little bit of a weird video, kind of. It's gonna be all over the place. But I'm at the Fargo Street Fair. I just came in here because I am very nervous about publicly vlogging, but I'm trying to get as much content as I can, but there's no promises, honestly, but I'll always, at the end of the night, talk to you guys um, about how the day went. But this is the fit for the day. I have the Stay Happy tank on and then just some jean shorts. I did bring other shorts because I know myself. I'm gonna get sick of these jean shorts, but yeah, this is the fit. And it is currently 12.04. We started at like 10 and so far so good. It's going really good and I'm really happy and yeah, I'll put some clips in of the booth here, but I'll check back in soon. Fargo Street Fair. It goes for like five blocks. It's one of the biggest events in Fargo, Moorhead in my area and I absolutely love it. It's a three-day event. Sorry if there's wind noise, but it's a three-day event. Um, there's hundreds if not thousands of vendors here and it goes from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Thursday and Friday and then on Saturday it goes from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Here is my booth. I have a double booth this year. Uh, last year I had a single, which is just one tent. It was way too small, so I doubled this year. And I might have to triple next year if I do this again, which I probably won't because I love this street fair. Okay, so if you guys watched my mock setup video for this, do not get these. Don't get them. These clothing racks suck. Well, it ended up raining, and as you can see, my racks broke. Do not buy them, do not buy them. This is why I say, do not buy them, do not buy them. Okay, so then we improvised and put clothing all around. Does it look a little more ghetto than I thought? Yes. I was hoping it would be like more boutique vibes, this year, but um, we're, we're in the ghetto stage, I guess. That's, that's the update. Also, I only had a mental breakdown once. Mm, actually, scratch that, like three times because my tent was flying in the air. It was flying. Right, Cassie? I had to bring lamps. Yeah. It, it was just, it's, it has not been a good day. I mean, I'm making money, don't get me wrong, but like everything that could go wrong is going very wrong. Well, we are finally home. We got sent home early because of the severe weather that's going on. And I'm really nervous about my tent tomorrow. I put it down to like shorten it. So hopefully it doesn't completely fly away. But it still makes me nervous because we're supposed to have a severe thunderstorm. But overall, today was a pretty good day. We had a rocky start. I had like three or four mental breakdowns because one, I didn't get heavy enough weights to hold down my tent. So the wind was kind of taking it. Two, it, it, my sister couldn't get me weights until like an hour-ish later. So I had to hold the tent. Thank goodness I had help from Jay. He did the till and everything while I held down the tent. Um, another incident that happened today was my clothing racks, as you guys probably saw. Um, I threw them away because they were trash. But after Cassie came and helped me with the tent, I was able to just go and kind of 
collect myself and get my head back in the game. I just, it, it's a long day. It's very long. I wake up at 7.30. I normally don't get home till 9. I was also on my feet all day because I was an idiot and forgot chairs. So I sat on the concrete whenever like I could, but I mostly stood, so my feet are throbbing right now. So I will not be forgetting chairs tomorrow morning. Make that note. Oh, wait. Hey, Alexa. Can you remind me to bring chairs tomorrow at 9, 9 a.m.? Okay. I'll remind you tomorrow at 9.09 .09 a.m. By the way, when your reminder rings, you can snooze it by saying, remind me again in 15 minutes. Perfect. Now we got that. Okay, so my camera's going to die, but overall, today we made... $2,814, which is very good. I think it, I got my booth money back. So now it's just profit. So I'm excited for tomorrow and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Today is day two. I woke up super tired. Like my feet hurt from yesterday. Uh, but I did not forget about chairs. So I got chairs, we're all good on that. Wow, this is really bad lighting, but we're just gonna go with it. But I woke up tired, pretty exhausted. I was gonna wake up a little bit earlier than I did, but we're still good on time. I'm curious to see how, you guys are just loose on the dash. Yep, yep. You're just loose, you're just loose on the dash right now. Just bear with me on this. Uh, I'm curious to see how my tent is just because of the big storm that we had last night. Makes me a little bit nervous. I did have weights on, obviously, but I don't know how it did during the night. I put it down, if I didn't say that last night, I put it down a bit, so hopefully the wind didn't really catch it as much last night if there was a lot of wind i mean we'll see when we get there i just really need some coffee right now i need starbucks and food but i remember chairs so that's good i got those so we're ready for day two <laughs> kind of i guess i think today is gonna be a good day i'm really hoping for it Let's just hope that my tent doesn't catch wind again and that everything goes smoothly because I have to have my products hanging from the tent now. I'll show you guys if I, I don't think I showed you guys, but I'll show you guys today my new setup compared to my first one that you guys probably saw. But yeah, we're going to do that today. I'm just going to go pick up Jay. He's my little helper. He's my little helper. He came in clutch yesterday and he said that he wanted to help me today because he had fun. So that's what we're doing now. I'm nervous for today because you just never know how it's gonna go, but Fridays are normally good, especially earlier because of all the people that are trying to get to it before going to the lakes tonight. So they'll come like straight after work or like right before. Saturdays, Tomorrow is gonna be slow because that's normally how it is. Like all the people that have lakes leave, they go. But we're we're striving today. Some people think that when like businesses share how much they like make and stuff like that, that they're like gloating. But I'm just trying to help you guys out. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus. I'm just trying to help you guys out. Like understand like if maybe a market is worth it to you or help you guys learn from my mistakes if you know what I mean but today I'm really hoping that we make the same as yesterday if not better but I guess we'll see towards the end of the day so I'll check in a little bit later today I'm just I'm not awake yet I'm not awake okay everything looks good so far so the fair is going pretty good what do you think Jay what? Going good? Yeah. <laughs> um, we've sold a lot so far. 
It's currently 1.04 p.m. We're here for another eight hours, but we're having a good time. It's very hot out, so we have our little fans blowing on us, and we're trying to stay cool, but I'll check back in a little bit later. So I just met one of my Instagram followers, and she was so sweet. I literally felt like a superstar. It literally just made my day, and I'm so grateful. It literally, uh, my heart is still beating so fast because of it. She was so nice. And if you're watching this, say hi in the comments. But day's going good and it's only gonna go up from here too. I'm officially home. I had to take a shower right away because I felt absolutely disgusting. I'm so tired. My feet are killing me. I'm gonna have to get a pedicure after this weekend. But in total, I made $4,368.82 today. Today was such a good day. It was hot and humid out, but I would take that day over yesterday any day. Like, trust me. But I met so many people that follow me on Instagram and it truly like made my day. It made me feel like a superstar, which was really exciting. But I am just so grateful. And so many people are like, oh my gosh, I did not know that you were from Moorhead and all this good stuff. And they're like, where have you been? Like, I never see your stuff anywhere. And I'm like, I'm online. I don't have a store. But I do do craft fairs or markets as some people call it. But overall today was an amazing day. I had so much fun. I got done at nine o'clock currently 10 30 I I'm so tired and I'm gonna eat some food we only had one incident that was losing a nail but I'll take that any day I'm gonna eat some food I gotta make some more glassware because I'm out I'm so close to being sold out of everything uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the morning all right Today is the last day. We have seven hours to put in today. I mean, if you count what time I get there, actually it's like eight hours. But I'm so excited. I'm ready to be done. As you can tell from my voice, it's kind of getting lost. My ankle's hurting. I don't know what I did there. Overall, I'm really excited for today. Not only to be done, but just to meet more people. I love meeting people. I'm such a people person. And I can literally rant about anything for days. Also, I'm wearing a new tank that's coming on Tuesday. It'll be, so this is going to go up on Monday and it'll be out the next day, Tuesday. So, this is the No Rain, No Flowers launch. This one is just like the flower details and all of that. It's so comfy. I love it. And I'm excited for that launch on Tuesday. But we have one more day of the Fargo Street Fair. If you couldn't tell, the past two days have been from 10 a.m. to 9. Or I'd get there at 9, so it was like 12-hour days. Besides Thursday, because we got sent home early because of the storm. But yesterday was a 12-hour day. <sighs> I'm so tired. We're gonna get some Starbucks, and then we're gonna head there, we're gonna set the tent. Well, it's already set up, but we have to just like take off the front part and then move some stuff. I'm gonna go get Starbucks, try to wake up, and get the day rolling. It's obviously later in the day. Um, the day went really well until it started pouring rain. It was like I was in a hurricane. I don't live by an ocean, like, whatsoever. I'm in the middle of the United States, pretty much. United States and, like, Canada. Yeah. It was pouring rain. A bunch of my stuff got soaked, so I packed up early at, like, 2.30, and I left because everything was wet. I needed... I didn't want to sell wet clothing to anyone. But overall, it was a really good day. I had a lot of fun, and I got to meet a lot of you guys as well. 
which was really cool. I love that. Like, it just makes me feel like a superstar. Today in card sales, we made $1,436.82. And then for cash sales, we made $364 for a grand total of $1,796.82. I would say that's a pretty good day for being open for four and a half hours and it being pouring rain for an hour of that. I'll put on the screen somewhere probably over here how much I made overall for the entire market. Now you have to understand that I did spend $800 for my booth fee. It's not including lunch, dinner, snacks, drinks, all that as well as my apparel that I did buy for this uh, and just apparel that I had in general. I only had one mental breakdown today and that's when it was like pouring rain and super super windy and everything was getting wet. I just didn't really know. I was feeling really overwhelmed overall. So I think we only had about four mental breakdowns <laughs> over the past three days, which I'd say that's a win because it's it's a long day. So you get really tired. I go to bed at 1 a.m. I get up at 7.30, 8 o'clock. I get there by 9. I set up my booth. I'm there from 9 until sometimes 9 p.m., in this case, 2.30 or 5. So I think it was a really good weekend, and I'm hopeful that I'm able to do it again next year. It's if they let me in or not. Uh, but for my second year in a row, we did amazing. And I'm pretty sure I reached my goal of $6,000. That's how much I wanted to make doing this. So I think we reached it. You'll know before I do. Uh, but yeah, I'm just happy with how everything went. I'm going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it was eventful enough for you guys. And I hope you guys, like, figure out if maybe doing a craft show is worth it to you or not. Obviously, a lot of them are different. Some are great. Some are terrible. Some are just okay. But you just got to take the risk and do it. It's good money, I would say and it's well worth it so i'm gonna end it here make sure you follow me on all my socials and make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys